Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. We've got a question about solar charging with an alternator or even a battery charger. What happens when they're all running at the same time? And is that a problem? Probably one of the most common questions I get of all subject matters. People worry about that. And they have a right to worry because in the past, having too many charging sources running concurrently at one time uh, was a problem, for sure it was. And that sort of fear that we have or we hear from uh, club members and boaters that have you know lots of experience is definitely uh, relevant. But nowadays, all the devices on our boats are actually charging and charging to specific target voltages, which means that they can actually be running concurrently at the same time. So you won't damage your batteries by having an alternator on your engine turning and recharging your batteries while also your solar panels are connected to the same battery via solar controllers and you can have them run concurrently. Yes. Now there is a caveat. Our alternators um, are also deciding if it makes sense to run or not. They're actually making a decision. And if your batteries are completely full, it's very possible that your alternator might say, hey, you know what? I don't need to do anything. The batteries are completely full. I'm actually going to turn myself off. And here's the challenge. The challenge is this, is that a lot of us on our boats have our tachometer inputs on our boats that actually come from not actually the flywheel on the engine, but they come from an alternator output. So if your alternator says, hey, I don't need to do any work because, you know, the batteries are full. That's okay and that's should that's good but then what happens is your alternator is actually not turning and because it's not turning you're actually not seeing your rpms on your tachometer so you're thinking you're looking at your engine pan you're like what the hell my tachometer doesn't work but my engine's running obviously it's turning i can hear the sound it's turning at about 2000 rpm or 1200 and we get used to knowing what we get to feel like i always close my eyes when i'm actually turning my engine in gear and I'm, and I want to hear what it feels like at a certain RPM. I want to know what it feels like just from hearing alone what my engine sounds, it's sort of the geek in me. But it's very possible that if you have your solar panels recharging your batteries and your batteries are full, your alternator might say, I'm not running. And if it's not actually outputting anything, the tachometer doesn't work. And so sometimes in those situations to actually force the tachometer to actually give you a value you actually what you have to do is you have to load up so you like I've had that on my boat I'll turn up some appliances on the boat that I don't really need to be turned on just so that the voltage drops a little bit so the alternate says oh I gotta help and then it turns itself on because it saw the voltage drop and now suddenly my tachometer works and that's generally going to happen if I leave a dock and I've been at the dock and it's my home port and I've been there and my batteries are charged if it's a sunny day and I'm motoring for a long period of time to get to my next destination or anchorage, it's very possible that I might have to actually turn on some loads on my boat because my solar is actually telling my alternator that doesn't need to do anything. And well, it's not telling it, but effectively it is. And so I need to bring the loads a little bit higher so that my battery voltage drops. And once the battery voltage drops, then the alternator goes, hey, I should do something about this. It turns itself on and it brings the battery back to where it should be. And in doing so, your tachometer starts working again. So don't worry about damaging the battery. It's just about the inconvenience of potentially having your tachometer on your boat, not outputting because the alternator is, doesn't feel a need to actually work. So that's a great question and thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad-free by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.